Alright, what is going on people? It is now Thursday morning and I'm just sitting down doing some YouTube and doing some editing and having a coffee and starting my day right. So yesterday I actually went back to the gym after I did back and I did some biceps. I didn't do rear delts. So what that means is that the first day I did push, I did everything in two workouts. The second day I did legs in one workout and then yesterday I did a pull workout in two workouts. So I've trained five times in the last three days and I still feel fine. Today I can't wait. I literally cannot wait to hit chest and triceps again. Um, two muscle groups I really, really, really want to bring up and when I get a pump in my chest, especially my upper chest, you know, if I'm really contracting it well, uh, it's it's an amazing feeling because you go look in the gym, you go take your top off after you've finished a good chest session, especially incline. And um, you know, flex your chest, man. It's it's sick. It, you're pumped, you know. You fucking, you just feel so freaking good. And especially because I've gone through all that shit with my gyno um, in my earlier years, you know, developing a chest finally that may that may look something like a good chest. You know what I mean? Is is a great feeling. Can't wait. See you there. All right, what is happening, people? Just finished training chest and shoulders. Didn't do triceps, gonna do triceps tomorrow. Or may do it the next day with biceps and make it an arms day. But, guys, I just brought out the camera because there's two things I notice, man. There's two things I notice consistently. When I, sorry, there's something I'm like, Jesus Christ. I need to get some whitening shit for my teeth, eh, fuck. Fuck me. Like, yeah, no one likes to talk about it, but God, my teeth, are not as white as they used to be, let me tell you. Um, trying to look for somewhere where I can put this fucking camera. God, my arms are shaking. I only just finished my last, last set of side raises about 30 seconds ago. Cause it's 5.30 and I've gotta go meet, meet mum for dinner at six. But what I was gonna say about these two things that I notice all the time is I'm sit I go and like do my warm ups let's say for a chest session I'll spend you know five six seven minutes doing my shoulder warm ups then I'll go over to my first exercise I sit down and I'll literally spend probably a good half an hour on my first exercise in most workouts I warm up the most on that on that exercise I fucking I hit Working sets, I'm feeling the strongest. I'm hitting good quality reps. I'm hitting good working sets, getting my getting my reps that I want. I'm feeling good, so I stay on that machine. I want to get the absolute most out of that movement. It's so much more efficient going into the gym and and doing three exercises for six, seven, eight sets each, rather than you know only just getting a pump on an exercise after three sets and then switching to another one, which is a, a different movement. You know, it's not gonna it's not gonna continue that hypertrophy that you want. Um, I feel like, at least on that first exercise, that first big compound exercise where you're, you're really going to push balls to the wall, you know, you want, you want to get those reps at heavy weight. And what I notice, guys, is I sit down on that machine and literally someone will sit down on a machine next to me or across the gym or whatever. They'll do three sets on that, they'll get up, they'll do another three sets on another machine, they'll do another three sets on another machine. And honestly, by the time I get off that first machine, they've literally either done their whole workout or fucking at least done you know two three even four exercises and I'm just like how the fuck could you have got all you can or how could you have got you know a good amount of work out of all those exercises when I'm I'm only just finishing my first exercise you know and I, and I know myself that I've got a good amount of work out of that exercise I'm ready to move on to the next one I just don't think these guys have mind muscle connection they just they're obviously not feeling the muscle especially when it's busy you know I say three exercises, seven or eight sets each, rather than five or six exercises and just do three or four sets each. I'd much rather sit on the same machine and get the absolute most out of it and recruit the most muscle fibers, short, long, everything. Because in that half an hour that I spend on that one machine, I'm doing sets of 40, I'm doing sets of 20, I'm doing working sets of you know six to eight, I'm doing a drop set of freaking another 20 or 30 reps. You know, I'm hitting all the different muscle fibers, there's no doubt about that, so. Yeah, that would be my rant on that one. That I see guys going between four different exercises by the time I've finished my first one. 
That is what I see very often. And the second thing, guys, I'm not even going to go into really. I've just noticed recently that, you know, if I'm walking towards someone, they're walking, walking towards me, we're obviously going to catch eye contact at some point. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at them, waiting for them to look up and look at me so then I can smile at them because that's what you do. You're not going to fucking, <laughs> you're not going to look in someone's eyes and, and not smile. It's, it's just stupid. You know, smiles are, they're infectious and... Anyways, the thing that I've been noticing is that when people do look up and they look in my eyes, um, they don't smile, or, or at least I, I think that they are not expecting me to smile. And, you know, it's just not the case. I, I don't know who's been giving the evils to these new guys in the gym, but it ain't me. So smile, guys, honestly. A smile is so infectious, it can brighten someone's day. A smile is, it's so powerful it really is and i've got to try and do it more often basically but in the gym man i'm i'm all smiles that the gym's my fucking happy place it, it seriously is it always has been like it may take a few exercises to get into it it may take a few sets and a few it may take a few reps a few sets to actually get into the workout but once i do man it's all smiles music in you know, I'm ready to help people if they need it, like, ready to chat if anyone wants to, you know, get some help or whatever. I'm all ready, and the gym's my, definitely my happy place. So, anyways, those are two things that I was just thinking about. So, yeah, I think, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do for dinner, but I am going to go see my mum now. So, today's been another great day in Christchurch. My dad is feeling better. He's been working all this week, so I haven't been able to see him throughout the day, but I have been hanging out with him. Um, at night and you know he's he's doing all right um, I definitely think it was worth me coming over so yeah that's about it peace saw a, a brown cardboard box on the on the side of the road and I, th I thought automatically it's got to be a kangaroo but of course there's no kangaroos in New Zealand but that's obviously my mind how it's conditioned to the Alice Springs uh, wildlife because you, you do see that pretty often you see kangaroos on the side of the road they fuck up cars the big ones they um yeah that that's that's like running into a cow or something like that it's it's pretty fucked but right now, guys, we're just heading through from uh, Christchurch City through to Littleton, which is where I grew up, and it's where my mum's living at the moment. So tomorrow, um, I'm going to show you guys around again. About six months ago, oh, no, not six months, about 12 months ago, I came back and I made a vlog. Sorry, no, about six months ago, I came back and I made a vlog called The Old Stomping Grounds. Well, that was about this place, and, um, you know, it's absolutely chocker full of memories but the thing is is uh, the big earthquake that happened on the big earthquake that happened on the 22nd of February 2011 the epicenter was right below Littleton so Littleton got absolutely flattened anything brick came down the whole town was pretty much fucked but uh, it's been about five years since then so it's come a long way but there is a whole new crowd there so I don't really bump into like you know old mates and things like that anymore which kind of sucks but everyone moves on right everything's got to change eventually so it's obviously been raining a bit here it's fucking really nice and green but the weather's not too good so this is the tunnel that goes through from Christchurch City underneath the hill into Littleton Littleton Harbour and it's a fucking cool place man I'm praying for some good weather so I can show you guys but but I will talk to you guys in the morning, I gotta go see mum now. Can't wait to see her, I haven't seen her in like six months, so that'll be awesome. Have a good night, guys. Peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh.